Well, hi guys, this is Rena May and welcome back to my channel. So, um, today's video is going to be in my unicorn pajama for the winter season and yes, it's gotten colder and colder in Japan and Tokyo right now and yeah, it's like the autumn winter in between season which is super nice because I love winter and I'm looking forward for it. Today's video is going to be a Japanese lesson which you will not learn on textbook because it's very you know, communication language and the language that it's very trendy and fun to learn and maybe if you guys watch a lot of um, dramas you know Japanese TV dramas or programs or any kind of anime they might use these words but they don't teach them in school so I thought I would tell you guys the recent Japanese words that we use and are actually useful in real life so I hope you like it, and further ado, let's get into the video! Um, I wrote some words in this paper today so that I could like be a teacher and um, all these words aren't that hard so I think you can actually make use of it. So let's get started! So for the first one, ta-da! I have cho. So cho, it's, I wrote it in kanji because some people write it in kanji, so cho and you write it like this in hiragana and you pronounce it cho so this means tada berry so it's like in school maybe you will learn as totemo how you would use it um, if i say it's really good i would say cho oishi meaning it's very delicious so cho oishi or many, if i want to say cho kawaii it means very cute so or very tired. Um, very hungry. So, cho, as if you add a lot of cho in the before the word, like, cho, 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 tsukareta. Cho, tsukareta means like, I'm so tired. So, it's super easy. <laughs> and we use it a lot. So, it's very useful. So, maybe you can use it in your daily life. So, next one. Um, there's much more other ways to say it, but you can say yabai for basically, oh my god. So, for example, I would say, um, ah, yabai, okureru. It means like, oh no, oh my god, I'm gonna be late for school or late for something. Or, yabai, kore sugoi oishi, kore cho oishi. Yabai, cho oishi. It means like, oh my god, it's so good. So, basically, when you want to tell your feelings that you're so emotional, so. If you say yabai, it's like it's gonna emphasize what you want to say um, after the word. So this is also super useful, and I think you use it. We use it a lot in our daily life because we are the generation that we lack vocabularies, and pretty much yabai covers up everything. <laughs> so next up, we have gach. So gach, I wrote it in katakana, and you can pronounce it as gachi and it means really or in best effort and you might learn as honki de or maji de or maji de is also another word so gachi means like you've you've done it for like you've done it in best effort gachi and cho is kind of the similar words so it's a synonym or you could also say mo gachi meaning that you did it in best effort so if someone asked you did you do your homework so i did it in my best effort you can just say gachi gachi meaning like oh really meaning oh did you really do that so gachi is also very useful <laughs> i don't know if that was like i'm very bad so next we have paripi Paripi. Maybe you can um, guess from the word party p, party p, party people, party people. So it means party people. <laughs> so we say like, so get party p means like, oh my god, you're really party people. Oh, like I've been like, I've been clubbing the entire weekend, and then your friend would say, oh, maji de, gachi party pi dane. So like, oh my god, you're so party people. 
so this is part of people. Maybe you can learn it for like fun. <laughs> and next, the last vocabulary series we have one down. Wanchang. Wanchang is also a doggy, a cute way to say dog in Japanese. Wanchang. But we also, this means um, one chance, so probably. So, like, if your friends ask you, are you gonna go to clubbing this week? You'll say, Wanchang, mm, if I finish my homework. Wanchang, 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 Wanchang. <laughs> and there's also other ways, such as, Furuchang, meaning, um, yeah, 100% I would. Full chance, I'll go. I will go for sure. And also, no chan, majin, no chan, no chan, nai 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 no chan, no chan means like, oh, no, 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 I won't, I won't, like, zero percent. So it's like 50 percent, 100 percent, zero percent. And then you could answer. So those were the vocabulary series. And next, I would like to move on to the text series and also some other additional series that you could write on SNS. And this one is so familiar. Maybe you will, you are familiar with this. Um, there's no way to pronounce it, but you just write like several W's, like or uh, as much as W that you want. And this means like lol or haha. And in Korean, it will be this one. I just learned it. So if you write something and then write at this www, then it means like la 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 or ha 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 ha. Super cute. And then we also have some other words such as agepoyo, tehepero, ma. Okimaru and agepoyo means like yay high tension agepoyo so there's like no meaning to it and tehepero means like tehepero oopsie I did it tehepero so yeah there's no meaning again and ma is like an abbreviation of maji so really ma maji ma this is like the recent high school girl word so I can't I don't I can't catch up with it either but my friend told me that they say this <laughs> and okemaru okemaru means like okay but a cute way of saying Maji okemaru, okemaru, okay. you can you usually write it on text more than we say because if we say this it sounds so stupid thank you so these were the entire words that you would not learn on textbooks but will be so nice if you know them or will be useful if you know them in real japanese young people's life so that was it and i hope you like it tell me if you have like listened or heard or used one of these words comment down below and if you liked it please give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe button please press the subscribe subscribe button for more videos like this let's see so bye and see you in the next video